Well, how are the children to do this year? The queen quite coming. I'm gonna write you from Sintelna Island. Write you in the Gullah Geechee Nation. Now, honey, children, and see this your face before now. This year, the one that coming, brothers, honey, and Yeti Bottom on Gullah Geechee, Rhythm Radio, and all of that thing. And guess what? Then churn right here with the thing you should expect them to have gold medal and thing like that. But this year, they, instead of we putting them around their neck, they you to put them around we neck, on the island, right just to say, tell them the library. Now, which one you is? Omar. <laughs> now, Omar, we all have been cheering, rooting, everything for you and your brother CJ for years now. Tell us how many records have you broken? And tell us, where did you and your brother just recently come from trying out for? I probably broke like five when we were recently coming from Salt Lake City, Utah. All right, and what were you doing in Salt Lake City, Utah? I had a competition and on a Saturday and then I turned around and support my own younger brother when he lifted in the trials. And the trials of what? Trials for the Olympics. For the U.S. Olympics. US now, y'all see, that's what you call a true home champion, right? He just all humble about it. He act like he been just playing down the road the other day. You know, like him and his brother just been out joining in the field to pick up basket and things. You see how he did that? Yeah, you know, he was, yeah, he was, you know. I, yeah, I just went down there, you know, support my brother. But well, what would your brother do? <laughs> All right, everybody don't get to go to the Olympics, huh? Everybody don't get to try out for the Olympics. So that tells us y'all are true champions. So now tell me, how did you feel even being there with your brother and watching him at that type of event? It was a nice moment for an older brother looking at a younger brother doing big things. I was proud of him. That's great. Don't get no better than that. I know that's right, right? And I know mom and them was there. Oh, yes. You can hear her screaming Bro, and hollering at I know, I know that's yeah. right. Damn it. All that. Okay. <laughs> All that. Well, she, yeah, I don't blame her. But we was at home hooting and yelling. You hear what I said? Mm -hmm. So definitely I was on the road trying to keep up with where y'all was and what y'all doing. So now what's the next thing that you're going to be a part of? Oh, uh, well, he's on the way to Russia in two weeks. Excellent. So I'll be here supporting him, but... Okay, you're not, going to, not going to Russia. Russia. I hear that. So now tell us, because everybody who's watching, we don't know everything about weightlifting. So tell us what the class of weightlifting you are in and what's the class that your brother is in. All right, I'm in the junior class, which is like um, 18 and up. Okay. And he's still in the youth, which is 17 and under. But wow. we still like times we compete because he, you know, he lives with the older people for competition, but I'm in a heavier weight class because I'm an 85, and he's in the lower weight class, which is like the 77. So okay. it's, that's how we you know, divide the brackets and ages. And, and everything. And so now with the five different gold medals, I take it, that you have, and five different records, how many of those are world records? Uh, none of them are. None, none of them are world records. records. He but your brother holds, holds a couple of world records. But so now, what are your five records? Mine's is total snatches and cleaning jerks for the 69, 77s. Mm -hmm. And I broke those records repeatedly, like, as I went on. See that? Again, you see how you like, yeah, and I broke those. And I, you know what I'm saying? That's what he do. That's just what he do. So now, do you plan on really continuing to pursue this as long as you possibly can? Is this definitely a career thing for you? Or are there other things that you have in mind? This is football. I'm going to take it and, you know, do what I can with it for as long as I can. Just, I mean, weightlifting is a part, an important part of football, so as yes. long as I can go. I'm it, sure it is. Weightlifting for real. So we going to see you tossing folks on the field. That's what you're trying to tell them? Yes, ma'am. I'm telling y'all, y'all better watch out. Y'all see him coming, y'all might want to change your move right quick on the field. So that means you, but also, you got to be swift on the feet, though, in football. And, it, you know, people moving and stuff ain't just sitting there for you to pick up. Okay? So, I mean, how you doing with that? You doing a lot of workouts and stuff this summer to yes, get ready? Yes, ma'am. I hear that. So do you already play on the football team too? Yes, okay. So what else do you do? So weightlifting, football, that's it. and that's school. it. And schoolwork. School. And so how them grades? I'm good. I know they are because mama wasn't going to let you compete in nothing Ooh. if it wasn't. That's why like mom and dad would be like, uh, where you think you going? You're going to be in here lifting books <laughs> for the rest of the semester. That's how they were going to do, right? That's how it's supposed to be done. So yeah, y'all know how we would tell them, churn, go outside, rest your nerve, and things like that. Well, now you can tell them, go outside, pick up something, go lift up the thing that put them weight. And then you see they can build up some muscles that can actually lead to a championship. So now we're going to do just what we do there in the Gullah Geechee Nation, mm -hmm. things like that. CJ, we're on a dead boy, come here. <laughs> 
CJ, what's going on? Nothing much, how are you? I'm doing well, good to see you. Good to see you too. I, I said to myself, don't start confusing me now. I thought this one is CJ and that one is Omar, but you look like you want to be the older brother now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, I know you'll get him later. Put him in a headlock later. But, um, so I heard, you know, heard through the grapevine. Did you know you did a little event called the Olympic tryouts? Just a little something, right? Yeah. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. How'd that feel? I was pretty good, man. I just went there and enjoyed the experience. Yeah, you had a good time. Mm -hmm. That's great. So now, what other world records do you hold? Um, right now, um, in like two weeks, I'm trying to break the the youth world record in the clean which is 174 kilos. So I have to put 385 pounds up over that. Really? Yes. So that's what you're going to Russia to do? Yes. All right. So now, how much have you already lifted when you broke these other records? What uh, were these other records that you broke? I broke uh, the snatch record, the clean jerk record, and the total record. Okay. And um, in pounds, I snatched 300 kilos. I mean, 300 um, pounds. Pounds? Yes, and the clean jerk, I 385. 385. Okay, so you have actually put 385 pounds above your head before. Okay, so you're not really, really sweating this. This ain't going to be a first-time activity when you get to Russia. But now, so that means you could take three of me and put, put us up over your head with no problem. That's what that means. Okay, so now tell me. I know before when I talked to y'all on the air, mm -hmm. on the radio, yes. you were saying that you really started doing it because your brother was. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome she to the Penn Holland Branch Library. 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 Today oh. we're going to be celebrating the kickoff for our summer reading. We have two special guests with us, so if you could please make your way out to the reading garden for this event. You please make your way out to the reading garden now at this time. Thank you. All right. So now you say your sister yes. introduced y'all to actually weight lift up? Yes. How did she do that? Uh, well, one summer. She me picked you up through you around the room? No, I didn't do that. No, one summer, me and my brother Omar, we didn't have nothing to do with it. And she uh, took us to the weightlifting gym and we like, started working out and we like, right. stuck with it ever since. Oh, that is wonderful. And I know she's proud now. Right? She brought. Yes, 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 yes. So now you see what happens just from one little thing when you have that family connection. You see the sister needed them to do something with themselves. Remember I said, we tell you, go and sit down and study yourself. And I told y'all, get them churned out in the yard, let them pick up a few things. See, the sister was wise. She took them to the gym. Let them start picking up things. And then they kept with it. But that's the thing, right? Persistence. Yes. Because you don't win all of them, right? So, but, but you keep trying. So now, if somebody else was out there and they want to be an athlete, they want to do stuff, they say, well, wow, I saw what they did, and they were young as I am, I'd like to be able to go try out for something, win something, break a record. What would you tell them is the biggest thing they got to keep in mind? What would you say? I mean, you just have to have fun and keep going. It's going to be tough at times, but you just got to uh, know why you're doing it. Just have fun. And have fun and keep going. What would you say? I'd say the same. I would say the exact same. You couldn't put it. And better words. Yeah. So y'all heard that. Have fun and keep going. And that's all you need to do. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. We want to thank the whole Cummins family. And leave while y'all might get a little bit to hear from a mama. A proud mama and thing like that. Mm -hmm. But he's your chillin' with dear y'all. And you know all of we the family anyway around y'all. So we got so much a family that's so proud for these champs right here. And so we gonna go and let y'all see just a little bit of this year's celebration we had for that coming on home right between competitions right here at the St. Helena Branch Library. Hunter Chiller, if you did with me, Hunter go I know this year the work going on. Now see here in the midst of the celebration who we find, we done find the big Clarence who trying to roll out the picture right now. And we done find the one YC they got in there and trying to leave us real quick. And then we got mommy right here, mama coming. How are you? I'm good, how are you? All right, so now tell us, I asked your son how they felt going to the Olympic trials. But really, being a parent sitting there in the stand, how did that moment feel for you? Undescribable, nervous, excited, all at the same time. Right. Just looking at how everything was set up and knowing that my child was there, it was amazing. 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 So are you going to Russia? I would love to, but no. No. 
So you got to send your little birdie out the nest by himself this yes, time? Yes, yes. All I'll right. Be You'll be, I know you will. And we're going to be like, we want to see it if it's live stream. You make sure you let us know. I will do. Now tell me one thing, because I know they could not have become the young men that they are if you and daddy didn't give them some words of wisdom. What is it that you think has been maybe the most significant thing that they take with them every time they do have to go out there on their own that y'all taught them? No matter what you do, keep God first. Try and try again. It's all right if you don't place first. We still love you. Doesn't matter. You're still our champion. I know that's right. And definitely are still all of we champions. Yes, and so yes. we thank you. We thank the whole family for continuing to support them and encourage them. And right here for keeping them grounded right at home. We're so glad. And much love to all of you. And I'll be stop by the house and just snatching up a couple of gold medals right quick. I, I just stop by. <laughs> I know there's a lot of them coming in so. But yeah, I know. They'll even sign the back for you. I hear that. But definitely, we want them to bring so many more gold medals home. But I know the richness they already have is in the family. So thank you, thank you to all of y'all. God bless you. So now, Hunter Chillin, we got the voice behind the scenes who caused us to have two world champions. This year, the big sis comins. Tell the family what Hunter named her. Crystal coming. Now, Crystal ain't clear now. You know, Crystal is something that's really clear and that you get to see through it. But it's also very valuable. And so we are so happy, Crystal, that you wanted to bring some gold up in the house along with the crystal. So tell me, what was it that caused you to take your brothers to the gymnasium? Uh, well, Omar, when I used to, I used to believe it. Oh, okay. Omar, he was born, he used to see the seated dinner. So uh -huh. they, you know, they, like they said, they didn't have anything to do, they were playing football as well, so I just thought to take them there at first. You know, they didn't want them to do it. Right. So, so I just took them against, you know. Against your parental right. will. Yes. Okay, your mama got a switch in her other hand, but we ain't gonna say nothing. Right. <laughs> so I just took them anyway, and they liked it, and they caught on really quick. And they kept on going ever since. Well, that is wonderful because, you know, a lot of people don't realize that women are weightlifters, too. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And so that's why we wanted the girls that watch my show to realize that there's your little one um, that might eventually be lifting weights and she got the soccer ball, it's okay. The football we were just talking about with the Sierra Leoneans. And so here it is that now that you see just that one little taking them away from the house and what it turned out to be. How do you feel? I'm proud of I'm the number one fan besides their mom and dad. I know that's right. Yeah, y'all all tie on that number one slot, yeah, right? Yeah. They got to yes. share that one. Yes, I hear that. And so you right there rooting them on still. Are you there coaching on the side? I mean, I don't, I don't step, I don't overstep Coach Ray. Right. You know, I, I talk to them personally, outsiders, right. about doing things. And I also tell them, like, if I knew what I knew now, back yeah. then, I would have never stopped. You wouldn't have stopped. I hear that. Like, they told me, you can't take places. I've been to many places. Mm -hmm. so, I never thought I would. Weightlifting, weightlifting as well. Weightlifting. All right, excellent. So the family has just kept this up. It's really being a tradition that's passed down. Yes. So then we'll be looking to interview your daughter in a few years. Yeah, we tried her out, but I don't think she's she ready. But she ain't ready yet. Maybe she'll get better as she get older. Yeah, we tried her out. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we sure thank you. Even though sometimes, you know, the parents be like, nah, leave my child alone. Right, right, right. You know, I'm glad that God put that message in your ear and that you were obedient and said, no, let me take them with me anyway. And that it turned out to be the blessing that it is because truly your brothers are blessing us here and around the world. And so I'm just as proud as you are of them and proud of the whole family for being together. And it's always wonderful to see y'all because you're always smiling. And you got a lot to smile about. Praise the Lord and hallelujah. And mama said, I even smiling with the switch in my hand. I just get her later. Uh, but yet it's still, there's a smile so we know there's love in the heart. So much love to all of you. And Hunter Chillin, see just what a leap it can do. So stop running your brothers and sisters off and draw me right. cools. And carry on some places and let them lift up the word of God and lift up some other things that God direct them to do so. And you can have a champion in your house too. God bless all Hunter Chillin. This year the Queen Quit Head Funny Body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Righteous, celebrating with the champions. Peace and blessings.
We are doing things a little bit different this year for Stone Reading. Our theme this year is a sports theme, which is why we have our celebrity guest here with us. Okay? Because this is a sports themed summer reading program. So what you're going to do is every time you read your books or attend a library program, bring your reading record. Everybody say my reading record. Reading record. I didn't hear you say that. Say that again. Your reading record. That's right. Bring your reading record with you to the library. When you do that every hundred points, guess what? You get a prize. Oh is that cool? Yes. How many of you guys like prizes? Oh, I didn't write my prizes. <laughs> How many of you guys like bikes? Anybody like a bike? Yeah. Well, we've got some brand new bikes that are going to be up for grabs for some of our people. Now, what we also have as well, take a look at these beautiful reading medals. How many of you guys would like to earn a beautiful reading medal like this? Isn't that pretty? This looks very similar to the Olympic reading medal. This is what, guess what, DJ and Omar signed me. <gasps> Isn't that cool? Yeah. Would you like to earn a reading medal that's signed by CJ and Omar? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. You have to make sure that you, you earn all 500 of your points, okay? Also today for you guys, before you leave, those of you who come, CJ and Omar have also signed posters for you. So you guys also need to have posters that you take with you. Is that cool? All right. One thing I'm going to do before I'm going to turn this over, I'm going to let the, uh, the guys talk to you about this for Before I do that, I need to share with you something very important. This is still a competition. Everybody say competition. Competition. This weightlifting is a competitive sport. And so these young men have been competing in this sport for quite some time. And I apologize, we only have the one microphone, so I'm going to have to share the one mic between the two brothers. Okay. But before we do that, I want to share with you that we have a dedication that we have for both, both of these young men. On behalf of the community at St. Helena and our serving communities that serve you, this is a recognition of being a positive role model both on and off the competition platform. We present these plaques to both CJ and to Omar Cummings. Take a moment to share with everyone what does it mean to be a weightlifter? How long have you been doing this? How y'all doing? Alright, how are you? First of all, I want to say thank you for um, being here. It's been a pleasure so far. Um, me and CJ have been lifting for six years. We started um, at Buford Middle and like <laughs> we started in June, like, my sister took us, we didn't have anything to do one summer, so she took us to go meet Coach Ray at Buford Middle, and we started lifting, we fell in love with it, we've been doing it ever since, and like, weight lifting, it'll take you far, I mean, we went like, so far we've been to six countries, so we went to Peru, Russia. Right. Well, so far I've been to Peru. I went to Peru twice, and it's been real fun. How you doing? Yeah, Wilton will take you far. I've been to Uzbekistan, Peru, Mexico, Poland, and in two weeks I'll be traveling to Russia to compete at the Junior World Championship. The important thing with the weightlifting is you gotta have really good discipline. 
That means listening in and out of the classroom, listening to your coaches, your mom, your dad. You really got to listen and pay attention to whatever the coach is, whatever your mom and dad tells you because the only way you're going to go far is to listen. And that's, the main, that's the main key to anything you do. Whatever you do in life, just be determined. You have a goal, you gotta reach it. Don't let nobody or anyone stop you from reaching your goal in life. Also, school is important because without school, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. And my parents, especially, like whenever I act up in school or I had a bad grade, stayed at home, didn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. So. Be good in school, listen to your teachers, and take school serious. Um, yes, um, well, yes. You have to be good. Um, yes, you have to be good in school. Um, you have to be a student first and an athlete second. Always remember that. Always get your academics first. And put God first in whatever you do. Yes, yes. yes. To have them wherever, wherever Amen. 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 Okay, the one question that was burning on my mind is what do they want to do when they finish school? Yes, they've got weightlifting. And a possibility of going to the Olympics in four more years, maybe? Is that right? Right, right. Is that cool? Everybody can head out of the Olympics? Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so what do you want to do, Omar? I would like to go to college. Wonderful. I'd like to go to college and you know, major in engineering, but as far as weightlifting, I'm going to stick with it as far as we can take it. And also try to pursue football at the same time. Excellent. At first, I want to graduate high school, and right. after I get, the, uh, get out of high school, I want to go to college. Hopefully, I can go to the Olympics in 2020-2024. All right! Yeah. And what I want to do is I want to go to the or All right! Oh, okay! Awesome, awesome. Okay. So if everyone, I'm going to go ahead and turn everything over. My staff members, okay, I want you guys to still have some fun. I'll probably bring some little inflatable things so we can have some fun out here in the yard. We have popcorn, we have snow cones. We also have hot dogs. Isn't that good? Okay, so what, if you would like to have a hot dog or snow cone, you can line up in different areas and take turns. The only ticket that you need is a ticket for a hot dog, okay? You can come and get popcorn and snow cone without a ticket, but you will need a ticket for the hot dog pretty quick. And that helps us to keep account of what we, what we have, okay? Does anybody have any questions for anything? Concerns? Don't forget to pick up your posters from Omar and CJ, okay? Thank you!